Uh, something about these polynomials too is if it has one term, it's called a monomial. Um, I think mono is the word for one in some language, Latin, Greek, Australian, I have no idea. But uh, mono is one, so monomial would mean that it has one term. It doesn't matter the degree, by the way. A binomial, bi is two, I think in the same language, whatever it is. So binomial would be two, two nomials, which must mean terms. I suppose, I mean, I, again, I have no idea, but uh, tri is three. So if we have three terms, it would be considered a trinomial. I just go over that because you're going you're gonna to have to identify that on the homework. Find the degree of each polynomial and indicate whether it is a monomial, binomial, trinomial, or if it's bigger, we just call it a polynomial. I don't know why we just can't call all of them polynomials, but whatever. Identify the terms. Let's look at number one here. So again, they're always separated by addition and subtraction. So I'm going to just kind of square in each term right here. And they do take the sign that it's immediately to its left, whether it's addition or subtraction. So the terms for this one would be 6x. The next one is 0 0.3. And the next one is negative 7x squared. And since this one had three terms, it would be considered a trinomial. That's correct. The degree on this one would be the term with the highest degree. The degree on this one, the exponent for that x is 1. This one doesn't have a variable, so it would be kind of like x to the power of 0. It would have a 0 degree. And this term has an exponent of the x, which is 2. That's our highest degree, so this is a polynomial with a degree of 2. All right, let's look at this next one. I don't see any addition or subtraction on this one, so it looks like we just have one term. One term would make that a monomial. Monomial. There we go. And the degree on this one, I guess we'll go with the degree next. <clears throat> the degree uh, on this one, well, we have a y which has an exponent of 2, and the x has an exponent of 1. And since we're multiplying those two together, we're going to add them, which would give us the degree. So this one is degree 3, and it has only one term, the negative 3 to the power of 4, x, y squared. We don't care about the exponents for the, just the numbers. Only, only for the letters or the variables. So if you see an exponent on the numbers, ignore it. Yeah, there was a 4 there, but we don't, we don't care about that. Not when determining the degree anyways. 3 is a binomial because we only have two terms. What are the terms? There's our two terms. And finally, what is the degree? Well, we only have one variable, x, and its exponent is 2, so it is a degree 2.